Hello there. I am Dr. Subramanian Kandan, endocrinologist and head of the department of the endocrinology department at Narayana Health Hospitals, Bangalore. On the occasion of the World Thyroid Day, we will be doing a series of video recordings and my topic today on that series is on thyroid nodules. Now thyroid nodules have become a, a very common problem given the advent of more and more medical imaging and we call these nodules incidental thyroid nodules which means that you go for some other testing and they end up finding a thyroid nodule which you never intended to um, you know investigate for for example you went for a chest ct scan and they found a nodule in the thyroid you went for a doppler of your arteries in the neck like the carotid doppler they found a thyroid nodule you probably underwent an mri of your brain and neck or the spine they found a thyroid nodule you underwent a pet ct scan for some other cancer and they incidentally picked up a thyroid nodule as well these are various scenarios that we kind of see every day in our clinical practice and this has become a, a problem that needs to be solved in a judicious and patient centric fashion now when somebody has a swelling in the neck and they go to their doctor it's appropriate that the doctor would advise after clinical examination and a few series of questions advise an imaging of the neck usually a neck ultrasound ultrasound is one of the best modalities to address thyroid nodules that's the, the logical way forward in case you had a thyroid nodule that has been picked up by another imaging modality and you are referred, your endocrinologist would then order a dedicated thyroid ultrasound to delineate the nodule features. Now, ultrasound can characterize your thyroid nodule into various degrees of risk of cancer. I think the number one question that the patient will have if they, if they are told that they have a thyroid nodulus, doctor, is it cancerous? To assess that, the first tool that we use in the risk assessment strategy is a thyroid ultrasound or a neck ultrasound with special focus on the thyroid and the surrounding lymph nodes in the neck. It is extremely important that this is performed by somebody who has been doing thyroid ultrasounds for a long period of time because this involves dedicated risk triaging systems. So there are scoring systems which actually define the nodules risk of having cancer. The commonly used modality is called the ACR, American College of Radiology, TIRADS scoring. So T-I-R-A-D-S, TIRADS is the scoring system that is used for assessing the risk of the thyroid nodule being cancerous. So lower the score, lower the risk, higher the score, higher the risk. That's, that's as simple as it is. This risk assessment is very important in the first place. Now, once you have the risk assessment in place, your doctor will then decide, is the nodule big enough to require a fine needle aspiration cytology? It's called a FNAC. If the nodule is too small, less than one centimeter, most guidelines would recommend to observe them unless there are some suspicious lymph nodes in the neck. But if the nodule is more than one centimeter, it needs a fine needle aspiration cytology. The fine needle aspiration cytology again is done either by your endocrinologist or by your radiologist where they put in a very fine needle, even smaller than the one they use to draw blood into the nodule under the ultrasound guidance. This is very important because some of the nodules may have solid component and fluid component. And it's important that when the needle is passed into the nodule to take the sample, it is specifically targeting the solid portion where the cellular content or the cells are more. So it's extremely important that this ultrasound guided FNAC again is done by somebody who does this correctly. A blind needle into the nodule sometimes may not give us the right answer. Once you get a, 
an ultrasound guided FNAC procedure. The, the slides which are prepared are sent to the cytopathologist or the pathologist. Now again here expertise is involved. Cytopathology of thyroid requires a dedicated pathologist who have seen the cytology for many years. These cells can be tricky and sometimes can give rise to indeterminate reports by an inexperienced cytopathologist. So again requires a lot of expertise in reviewing the FNAC pictures or the slides. Once the pathologist receives these slides, they then categorize or again triage these nodules into low risk or benign, high risk or cancerous and then there is a group that becomes indeterminate. So the pathologist will typically give this scoring system called Bethesda cytology reporting. So this Bethesda cytology reporting will categorize the nodules into either Bethesda category 2 which is usually benign or Bethesda category 5 or 6 which is usually malignant or cancerous and then there is a group of Bethesda category 3 and 4 which are indeterminate which means that the pathologist is not able to for sure tell if it is benign or is it cancerous. Now, when you come back to the doctor with these reports, the ultrasound report, the FNAC report, it's the duty of your endocrinologist or your treating physician or your surgeon, whoever it is that you approached with this problem, that they corroborate these details, speak to the radiologist, speak to the cytologist and get an accurate information of what is the nodule looking like. And that helps in consolidating the information. And then your physician might either say, well, this is a, a low tirade score and it's come back as benign cytology. So you probably can wait. We will reassess you in about 6 to 12 months. On the other hand, your physician may tell you that you have a high tirade score. Your cytology suggests to have malignant cells. You probably will need surgery. Now, these are straightforward criteria and not much of confusion. The confusion will start when the nodule has some suspicious features which is a tirades 3 or a tirades 4 and similarly on the cytology they come back as the indeterminate category which is the Bethesda 3 and Bethesda 4. So now there is the that is where I think involves a, a very careful team approach by the endocrinologist, radiologist and the cytopathologist so talk to each other to find out how risky is this nodule or what is the chance of this nodule being cancerous. Now what are the options that we have when the nodule comes back as indeterminate? Now the options are we can redo the FNAC test maybe after a time gap of two to three months and the cytopathologist can re-review these slides. Sometimes the slides are not prepared properly, there is a paucity of cellular material, the slides were too much of blood. So all these factors can sometimes be properly done next time and the slides can be reviewed correctly by the cytopathologist. So that is one option. Option number two is you can undergo uh, an FNAC but this time not only send the material for the cytology but also send the material for mutation testing. Now this is a little advancement that we've had in the last few years where we'll be able to send these cellular material from the FNAC uh, procedure two specific thyroid cancer related mutations and if we find mutations to be positive then the likelihood of this cancer having uh, likelihood of this nodule having malignancy becomes a little higher. So that is the second possibility and third possibility where we end up doing another FNAC and the report still comes back as indeterminate then this endocrinologist or your surgeon might advise half or a total thyroid surgery depending on the clinical scenario. So these are things that would normally be recommend, recommended to you when you investigate for a thyroid nodule. So to sum up, I would like to say that thyroid nodules have become extremely common because of medical imaging. It requires a very careful and an experienced approach using a dedicated ultrasound performer, a dedicated thyroid cytopathology expert and a team effort when it comes to an indeterminate nodules. Mutation testing in these thyroid nodules are now becoming an increasingly used tool 
to further triage these nodules and then decide if your nodule can just stay in your body without causing any problems or they need to be operated because it, it has features suggestive of malignancy or cancer and, and hence would require surgery. So consult your endocrinologist and consult your physician or your surgeon and get these things sorted out in the right way. Thank you very much. Thank you.